Woo! Can you smell that money? Okay, folks, sorry. I haven't had time to change my shirt yet because I just found out about the Facebook data breach that happened recently. Over 533 million records. That's about a third of everybody on Facebook's information is now in the public domain. I'm talking all the information about folks, their emails, their names, their phone numbers, their occupation, their relationship status and history, everything. I just downloaded it. It's a huge freaking file. It's 79 gigabytes. I'm gonna go over it on my computer and I'm not, I'm not gonna show you any personal information, but for those of us who collect data like I do, I'm a marketer, this is absolutely a treasure trove of information. There are endless opportunities to make money using this data. But first, I'm gonna show you some of the data. I'm not gonna get personal, I'm not gonna reveal anybody's information on my computer to show you all of the data that has been breached and thrown out there in the public domain. And then I'm gonna go over some ways that you can use this information and this very valuable data to make lots of money by marketing to people. And you don't even need to use Facebook to do it. Again, this information is absolutely valuable. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name's John Cristani and I've made a living as a online marketer, meaning I sell other people's products to people and I oftentimes use other people's money to sell other people's products and I make a fat commission in the middle. I've made tens of millions of dollars. I live in Malibu, I don't know, I'll show my stuff sometime. You can check out my channel. Make sure you subscribe and you like if you're interested in seeing this information. This is exciting. Let's go straight to my computer and show you what it's about. Hey, John Cristani here. Now, here I have some of the uh, data I have. And as you see, we have the Facebook data right on my screen. And I'm gonna go into it in just a second here. But what you need to understand first is, I have to put this disclaimer up. Look, nothing I say here is advice, nor should be used for any marketing purposes. I am not a lawyer. I do not know the laws in your state or country or land or world or universe. Obey all laws, obey your leaders, obey the government. Do not take financial advice from me. Now, with that out of the way, let's go into this data breach. So, we have the Facebook data breach. 533 million records that have been exposed. You have compromised data such as phone numbers, geographic locations, names, birth dates, occupations, relationship statuses, account creation dates, and email addresses. Okay, this is very valuable data, folks. And uh, the date of this breach was 2019. So it's a lot of data from 2019. And I'm gonna get into the records. As you see, all these countries have um, had users that have been breached. Now, I will also be going into ways that you can utilize data to make money online. Um, I've used data a lot in my life to make money online. And I'm gonna go into the ways I have used data to make money online, but again, this is not advice. This is not, you know, don't do anything that's abusive of rules or laws in your country, and I'm not saying I endorse anything. Got it? <laughs> Type in the comments, got it, if you got it. Because I think you hear what I'm trying to say here, and if you enjoy this sort of content, click the little subscribe button or spank the like button please. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. It helps out expose the great hypocrisy of some of these social networks that are themselves abusing a lot of your data in what I say to brainwash people, um, the governments and all this stuff. I won't get into my views on our governments and Facebook, which is a fairly evil company, if you ask me, but let's go into what the data is. So if we look in here, we'll see that you have, th these are pretty large file sizes here. Um, let me see if I can zoom in on this. 
Okay, so here I am in all the data, and as we can see, I mean, if we go into a country, let's just pick the USA, for example, we see these are pretty large file sizes. We see uh, right here, we see, wait, let me try to draw on the screen. We see 500 megabytes each of these files are. Um, they're about a half a gigabyte large, and I don't know if you've ever tried opening a 500 megabyte <laughs> Excel file, but it's not possible. You can't open a file size that big on a normal computer um, or on using a normal program such as Microsoft Excel or WordPad um, or whatever you use to view those sorts of files because it's just too big. Um, even the smallest file here is 368 megabytes. And if we look at some of the other folders here, like the Philippines, we'll see, again, 86 megabyte file. You can't really do anything with this file as a normal person. But just to show you that these files are all real, let's, let's find a smaller file. We have Maldives here, which has eight, gigabyte, eight megabytes of information in it. And uh, let's just dive right in. Now, the data in this file, I'm gonna have my editors um, actually actually blur out the data because I don't wanna get in any more trouble than I could probably already get in just by showing this to you guys, folks. Please leave me a like for exposing um, this crazy stuff. But it shows where they're from, what sort of relationship they're in, what date they joined Facebook, what their hometown is, it shows their name, their gender, their email addresses. I mean, it's absolutely insane the sorts of data that is just publicly available um, if you just know where to look on the internet for it. Now, where do you find this sorts of data? How do you read this sort of data? And what, 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 how do you make money with it? I'm gonna start from the top first, is where do you find it? Um, one, one website that you can use to actually find this sorts of data is a forum called uh, raidforums.com. So raidforums.com is a, um, it's a website. It has a lot, of, uh, a lot of cool data breaches on it and all sorts of stuff. Shout out to Raid Forums. I'm a fan, um, you know, been lurking for years. Uh, but basically there's information on there. This is all public stuff. They got it from somewhere else. It's already public before it got to Raid Forums. Raid Forums is not exposing any of this information. Um, it's coming from dark web, web brokers. There's a whole sort of hobbyist community around people who collect data such as myself. Now, if you wanna make use of data and if you wanna be able to work with large data sets, I really don't know the, much much about it. I, I hire people to do that. But if you wanna learn how to do it yourself, um, you wanna go to w3schools.com, okay? So you see right up here, it says w3schools.com and I'll have my editors kind of edit this stuff in for y'all. But you want to learn SQL and MySQL, okay? MySQL is the language, it's the programming language of databases. And this is a completely free education that you can have right here where you can learn SQL and you can go through um, exercises and learn it yourself. You can try out coding, you can run the SQL and you can get information from different databases and formats to just learn how to manipulate data for yourself. It's very exciting. Um, and this is actually how I learned initially when I was just starting doing affiliate marketing, which is what I do. I sell other people's products. And when I got started, I used other people's money to do so. And um, if you wanna learn more about that, check out the link in the description, which is my number one money method. I've made tens of millions of dollars um, doing affiliate marketing. But I had to learn some programming because I started doing affiliate marketing back in 2009, uh, which was like 12 years ago. So it was a pretty long time now. And I had to learn a little bit of programming. So I learned it through uh, W3 schools. I just took their HTML tutorial and I spent maybe eight hours going through all of the different uh, exercises here. As you see, they have great exercises where they teach you all these different sorts of things and they have even have interactive exercises now and what i learned 
back when I was uh, starting was HTML, CSS, and PHP. Now, I should have probably learned SQL too, but nowadays I have a number, I have a couple people who work for me and they know how to do SQL. So what I do is when I get files that I want manipulated, I send it to them. So your next question is, okay, you know, you know where to find it, you know how to work with it, what do you do to make money with this consumer data, okay? So you have a couple ways to make use of this. And again, you have over, you, you have like, what is that? 533 million records uh, to work with, almost like a half or a third of the people on Facebook. That's pretty serious, man. So you have a lot of data to play around with. And um, if you learn SQL, you're gonna have a really fun time playing around with all this data. So the ways to make money are um, you could become, you could advertise products online. Uh, you could be a dark web data broker. And other than that, I really don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe you could become a detective. You have a couple options here. Be a detective, uh, be a dark web data broker or advertise products online. Now I'll start from the bottom here because it, it, I've been a, anybody I want to contact in my life. I've been able to do so because I have all the data. I have so much data at this point from so many different data breaches. I've, I'm able to find anybody's phone number that I want. Billionaires I've been chatting with because I'm able to find their cell phone and text them or get their email addresses or get their home addresses and send them mail if I wanted to. Now I'm saying this is, again, everything I'm talking about is for entertainment purposes. It may not be true, who knows. But the point being, I've been collecting data for a while and it's very powerful. And it puts you in a very powerful position when you are the master of so much data and when you can just search through all of Facebook's data or all of LiveJournal's data, all of MySpace's data, all of LinkedIn's data with your fingertips on your computer without having to pay anybody any money and find all this information. So it can make you a very powerful detective indeed. But I, again, I've just used it whimsically. So I'm just going to mark this off. Now, being a dark web data broker, again, in my times working with data, I've come across some data brokers to find some hard to reach data breaches. Not all data like this Facebook breach is made public. It's a serious, serious, serious problem if it's made public like this. Um, so I find some of the more expensive data, the harder to get data, and I use it for various purposes. Then the first one is actually advertising products. And what's great is with advertising products is Facebook, allows you to upload data, okay? They allow you to upload data, you know, and emails and phone numbers to their advertising uh, platform so you could target people, okay? So does Google and so do lots of ad networks um, allow you to upload data so that you can target specific people. Now, why is this valuable and why would I even tell you about this? You could email people too, you could call people. It's valuable because certain data breaches might give you particular sets of information. Um, now, for instance, let's say I want to advertise on Facebook, but I only want to advertise to people who have, uh, who are interested in video games. I might upload all of the SimCity data because I know people were interested in that video game. Or I have various Bitcoin databases, people who like Bitcoin. I could use that data and upload it to an ad platform or another so that I could just advertise to people interested and signed up for cryptocurrency accounts. Now, there's a lot of ways you can use this data. I'm not going to go into all of them, but this is what I believe is the most valuable way to use data is advertising products if it were legal. And again, some of you may be from in, in, in America. I think it's illegal to do this sort of stuff. Again, I don't know where you guys are from or what I, I, I don't control you, but it's very interesting. And what I, I'll leave you with is just give that like button a big spank. Give the subscribe button a big spank and leave a comment below. If you have a question for me, let me know. 
I hope this was an entertaining video. It was definitely eye-opening when I saw this breach happen, and I just downloaded that data so fast you wouldn't believe it. Uh, so now it's out there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and give me a hoorah if you enjoyed the content. Semper Fi. See you in the next video.